Hello and welcome to episode 58 of the Bearded Banter Podcast. The <coughs> Are you okay? The gaming podcast where I just threw up in my mouth. Jesus Christ. That's what you get for fucking downing iced tea and then like... Dude, it's like my fucking life source. Don't even try with me. Yeah, hashtag so anyway, iced tea. So anyway, welcome to Bearded Banter, gaming podcast here on BGM where we talk about games and shit. Uh, I'm your host, the Bearded One, with me. Joining me for the first time in what seems like forever... It's is, been about a year. ...is my good friend, Random Richard. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good, man. It's good to be back on the show. And yeah. uh, in case you can't tell, I look a lot fucking different. I mean... He's, yeah. He's, yeah. The, the, um, Briley had a good idea that it's been almost five years since we started the channel and the podcast. More or less. And um, here's what we looked like in the very first episode five years ago. Oh my god, look at that. And here is us now. We literally just took this like five seconds ago. A lot changes in five years, my friend. Yeah. You still look pretty much the same. I just... I still... The only reason is because I grew, decided to grow my hair out. Yeah. If I had my hair cut, I would look a lot different. And... But, yeah, but... Yeah. And Riley looks like a fuckboy douchebag. You fucker! <laughs> I'm dick! That's it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. No, fidget. not my fidget spinner! That's my fidget spinner, you fuckhead! I'm taking it away. Oh, yeah. As, can, anyone, can anyone tell that, we're, that we have a fidget spinner in the office today? You know, you're going to check the analytics for this video. The drop-off is going to be, like, right about here. Can anyone tell? <laughs> the drop-off is going to be insane. So, anyway, I'm putting that down because I can't. <laughs> I'm taking it. I don't give a fuck. So, anyway, hi. Uh, welcome to Beer Banter. Uh, it's been a while since we've done an episode, and I was uh, hanging out with Riley today, so I thought, why not? So, uh, like we usually do, we're just going to talk about video games, whatever. This is going to be a more generalized episode because it's been a while since Riley and I have you know, joined up together. Yeah. And, yeah, we're just gonna shoot the shit in this episode, so if you're not into that, you can get the fuck out. If they didn't drop off already after the fidget spinner thing, then... Yeah, it's they'll, a miracle they'll, they'll stick around for anything. Yeah, it's a miracle you're still here. So, yeah. Holy fuck, look at the amount of sun chips in this munchies. I know, that's the best part of the munchies, dude. Right? And the Doritos. No. Never a fan of the Cheetos in here, but, you know. Oh, the crunchy Cheetos? Those are the best. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll eat them, but they're not my favorite. Anyway! We're getting off topic. <laughs> we get that a lot. So, welcome back to the show. It's been a while. And we're just going to shoot the shit. So, you ready, Riley? Yeah, yeah, I guess. I think, since since this is a gaming podcast, uh, let's start with talking about games. What have you been playing recently? Okay, well, in, in the uh, year... Also, so... uh, before I mention, I didn't lug... I'm at Riley's house right now. I didn't lug any of my recording equipment over. So, if the audio quality is... Uh, Lesser than it usually is. Shitty. Just, just know that uh, I didn't bring the Yeti with me. We're recording off of Riley's desktop webcam mic. So, yeah, it, 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 it'll probably still sound, like, listenable, but it won't be, like, the high quality It won't shit. be the high quality you're used to, which, you know, fucking deal with it. The, it. the fidget spinner was on my nose for a second. Yeah. I feel violated. Uh, I'll make you feel even more violated later. Can, no, give it back. Can you, can you tell that we... <laughs> Did you just fucking hit the bag of chips, you yep. dick? Can you tell that we have a fidget spinner in be the care, office? Be careful with your drink there. Can you tell we have a fidget spinner in the office? So anyway, Riley, what have you been playing lately? Okay, well, my... Well, let's just... I'm going to say something recently. I don't have a girlfriend anymore, thank God. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say anything bad about her other than that, but let's yeah, just Yeah, let's say not go into details, just know it, that... It didn't end well. No. But... Yeah, but let's just say that after that, I basically rediscovered a love of video gaming that... Yeah, that's weird. Like, you were in a relationship for, what? Eight months. Eight months? Which I know isn't long, but hey. Yeah. You were with her for eight months, and then as soon as you break up, you, you message me all the time like, bro, I'm playing this game, it's fucking rad. And I'm like, that's wow. very close you, to accurate. Like, you have not been this in the game since you got with her. Right? Well, it's because, like, I never... I, I'm not going to go into more detail, but I'm just going to say, like... I could never really get into games because she was the kind of girl who basically had to always be in contact with me. Yeah. So, like, if I was if I didn't, like, text her back within five minutes, she'd be like, why aren't you texting me back? And it was just like, it was hard to play video games when you're pausing every ten minutes. It's Like I said, this is going to be a very generalized episode of banter. We're just going to talk, not, yeah. talk about whatever. I'm not going to go into further detail about my relationship problems. <laughs> just, just... But... What relationship? Hell! Yeah, no fucking kidding. Thank God. Just, just know that Riley is back into video games, which... Okay. It's always a plus. So, in that time, I've actually uh, rebought a Game Boy Advance. I had the original model, but then I realized, I did too. Yeah. I had the original as a kid. Fuck if Me I too. know where it is now, but... Yeah, mine broke a long time ago. Yeah, but I have a DS Lite, so, yeah, so I can play Game Boy games actually, on that anyway. Actually, my DS Lite broke. 
Oh, shit, like really? the top hinge broke. Realistically, I could have kept it and used it as a Game Boy Advance, just use the bottom screen. But it was, it was like it was busted. And it was like, eh. So I just got rid of it. And yeah, but even then, like the speakers are on the top screen, so headphones. But fuck that. So I, I just decided. Who plays the yeah. Who plays the DS with headphones? I do. Oh. Fucking loser. <laughs> fuck you. But yeah, so I got a Game Boy Advance. Uh, then I realized I don't like playing video games by a light. So I ended up getting an SP, and my collection has actually, uh, I, I, had, I still had a bunch of games left over, but I've gotten a bunch of new ones since. Like, I got, uh, here, in fact, I'm going to go up, and I'm going to grab, um. Yeah, go okay. ahead. He's going to grab some to bring them over for show and tell. Okay. Now, one thing I do, and I'm going to. Minus the show, because this is audio only. Yeah, it's just tell, really. William Tell. Uh, so I'm going to do this, I'll try to bring these over the best I can. What I do, and I will send you a photo of what you can show, is that I keep my Game Boy games stored in uh, video cassette, ugh, excuse me, video cassette cases. So I, I saw this technique online, I forget the user, I'd love to give him credit, but uh, I figured I was just like, okay, this will look really well, because I don't like just, I just had them in a box. And I don't like doing that, and I just wanted to like have them evenly displayed. So I found. I this, actually yeah. really like the way you got this. Site. Yeah, it turns out there's a site online that has. That's really yeah, smart. The site online already has labels basically pre-made that you just print and. Because it's them. like because it's like when you're dealing with a Game Boy game, you got the cardboard box, and if you want to be a collector and a completionist, you keep the box intact. But then you have to take it out of the big the cardboard boxes, box every time you want to play they it. They fall those apart. Are, those are fragile. They are cardboard. Shitty as But bad. this is really smart. Yes, and uh, I have labels for all the games except one because I haven't had time to run to Staples to print because, surprise, surprise, that printer right behind you is a piece of dog shit. So, eh, I'm used to it. So, yeah, so I'm just going to go over this. So for Game Boy, I have DuckTales, Woo! Uh, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2, and Tetris. Gotta have Tetris. And only, I actually, one, yeah. only one Game Boy Color game. Uh, yeah, uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe. Uh, I had Tetris, Tetris DX as a kid, but that's long gone. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so for Game Boy Advance, I have Cat in the Hat, Finding Nemo, Garfield and His Nine Lives, Ice Age 2, The Meltdown, Mario Kart Super Circuit, uh, the Namco Museum, which I just bought recently, actually, uh, Pokemon Ruby, and this one doesn't have a label yet, but it's uh, Spyro, Attack of the... Attack of the Norks? Attack of the... Yeah. No, Attack of the Rhinox. Oh, no, Attack of the Rhinox. Attack of the Rhinox. Sorry, I'm blind. I can't read that. Okay, and then and then I have uh, Super Mario Super Mario Advance, which is basically Super Mario Brothers Two, Super Mario Advance Two, which is Mario World, and uh, Super Mario Advance Three, which is Yoshi's Island. Okay, so actually Yoshi's Island, Super Mario Advance Three, which is Super Mario World Two, Yoshi's Island. Super okay, Super Mario Advance Three, Super Mario World Two, Yoshi's Island. That's the full time. Ah! And now I'm picturing the scene from SpongeBob where Patrick's brain just shorts out. It's like that's the fu- that's the full title. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, obviously I'll send you a photo. I think mm-hmm. I yeah, I'll give it to you later. It's already on screen. <clears throat> yeah, it, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice. And uh, yeah, I, so I like that setup. That's really smart. It's really clever. Uh, just ordering these kind of sucked because I had to pay in American dollars, and yeah. we, we we live in Canada. So the exchange rate isn't great. <laughs> it's fucking awful, actually. So yeah, it, it it looks good, and I still have a couple left over in case I want to get some more games. So sweet. And yeah, but so, in t- yeah. okay, in terms of like console gaming, what have you been playing? Console games, because uh, you just recently got Horizon. Yes, Horizon Zero Dawn is really good. Um, the best way I would, I'm not gonna go like into a full review of the game, but I'm just gonna say from my perspective, just I'm, give us give us like a tagline to f- explain what it is. Okay, think Assassin's Creed meets Far Cry Primal meets Halo. Halo. It, oh, it just robots. Has robots. Robots. Yeah, mm-hmm. but other than if there were no robots, it, it'd be Assassin's Creed meets. Far Cry Primal. Yeah, I basically think of it as like a third-person Far Cry game. Right? Like it's pretty much the same thing. Cuz you go you go around the open world and you hunt animals to craft resources and especially the the primal uh, vibe is very very obvious because it's kind of a prehistoric tribal like uh, environment even though it's like a, a thousand years into the future, but yeah. Even though it's post-apocalyptic, but Yeah. It's like because we did we did start playing it on a channel. Yes, yes. Uh, that. The day we're recording this, actually, the first episode went up. But it's basically like a third-person Far Cry in the sense that you go around, you hunt animals for materials, you craft stuff, big open world with a bunch of side missions, you're free to explore and do whatever you want. Where's my fidget spinner? I don't know. I didn't have it. You took it from me. 
Oh, it's over there. It's over there. Uh, no, I'm not going up to get it. Yeah, that. no. I'm not that OCD. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. But yeah, I really like Horizon. It's a contender for Game of the Year for me so far. I would say so, too. I mean... My contender for Game of the Year last year was Uncharted Forge. Oh my fucking god. Have you played Uncharted 4 yet? I have not. I have been playing through the other ones, my friend. And? Uh, I like them. Mm-hmm. But I personally prefer Tomb Raider. Fair enough. Tomb, Honestly, Tomb Raider like, is good. Like, the, 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 the comparison is obvious because they're basically the same style of game. But You're getting a lot of messages, by the way. Am I? Yeah. Oh. Oh, it's the Discord. Okay, cool. But, um, yeah. Basically, I like Uncharted. Mm -hmm. I like the narrative. I especially like the characters. It's got great characters. Mm -hmm. uh, the gameplay is solid, but I think, in terms of gameplay at least, the newer Tomb Raider games did it better. I would have to agree. I mean, they're both great games, but, you know, I, I, I love Tomb Raider, but I have a slight bias towards Uncharted. Mm-hmm. If you can't tell, I have all the games, so... Yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm a little more biased towards that, but I'm not saying that Tomb Raider isn't a good game. They're yeah. great games. Yeah, because it, just in solely in terms of gameplay, I think that Tomb Raider trumps. Did, did you... What what did you just say? Not that one! You remember, he's gonna make America great again. Okay, no, never, no, okay, no, 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 not going there. No, but uh, in terms of just gameplay, I think that Tomb Raider did it better than Uncharted. Uh, even in terms of story in some ways, because it's a lot... With Tomb Raider, it's a lot... The narrative is a lot more personal. Yeah. Because, especially with the reboot series, it revolves around Laura Croft's, uh, you know, backstory and origins. Yeah. So the narrative is a lot more personal and tightly linked with that central character. Mm -hmm. Whereas Uncharted, it's just a big, bombastic, worldwide adventure. Although, wait till you get to Uncharted 4. The story is a lot more personal, so... Okay. Yeah, but I think I think in some ways, in terms of narrative, and especially in terms of gameplay, in my personal opinion, I do prefer Tomb Raider. Mm -hmm. But I have been playing through the Uncharted games because I do have the Nathan Drake collection, and yes. they are great. They're great for what they are. Personally, I just like Tomb Raider better. And that's that's fine. That's a matter of opinion. You know, uh, everyone gets to have their opinion, even if it's wrong. Which right. his is, so <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to have to deal with this. Uh, anything else you've been playing? Okay, so yeah, I'm just looking through my collection right now just to see what I've gotten. So I've gotten Bioshock Infinite, which I love. I've also I've gotten Far Cry 3, which I haven't had time to get to, but it looks really good. Great fucking so game. I can't say Great anything. fucking game. I got Infamous 2, which is good. Infamous 2, but not Infamous 1. I couldn't find it. But, uh, okay, what else did I got? I got the Metal Gear Solid HD collection, which, you know, me, I'm a Metal Gear fan, so I had to get it. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got Brothers for PS4, which is really good. A Tale of it's Two Sons. It's weird to control, though, but once you get used to it, it's not yeah. too bad. There's actually... I did it when I played it. Uh, Bones and I played it, and we just each took a side of the controller. I actually think that's a good way to do it. It's yeah. like the, the perfect two-player game. It's like the best quirky co-op game you could possibly imagine. And you, know, you don't need to buy another controller. No. Nope. Which... That's the thing. I'm just going to say something. Like, you know, like, Mario Kart. Like, it's a good, like, multiplayer game. There's not good, like, you know, on non-online multiplayers anymore. At yeah. At least not that I'm noticing anymore. Yeah, not a lot of games have, like, really thorough and fleshed out uh, couch co-op modes. Except for Mario Kart, but they've been doing that since the fucking 90s, so they got it pretty well. Yeah. Um, sorry, what else they got? Uh, obviously, Far Cry 4, which I actually got for Christmas. Horizon Zero Dawn, obviously. Infamous Second Son, which I've already beaten, but I I, I beat it recently, too. It's a good game. Fucking great game. And Just Cause 3, fuck you, missile! That's like my favorite line ever. And don't judge, and I got Watch Dogs 2, which I love. Which is good. It's a good game. And my a purchase I'm not as proud of is Lego Worlds, which... Yeah, what's, think, up with, what's up with this game? The best way I can describe it is think a Lego No Man's Sky. I'm not into it. Yeah, it's not good. And I, I think I only played it once. I was like, wow, this is... Become a out. master builder in an open world creative adventure with friends. It's not as open world as you think. You it explore is. a galaxy of diverse worlds made entirely from Lego bricks. Which Discover is... and collect fun minifigures, vehicles, creatures, and more. And create your own worlds with powerful building tools. With split with split screen or online multiplayer, make your stories together. I just didn't enjoy it. Minimum eight gigs to install. <laughs> yeah. In fact, if you can pass my controller for the PS4, I can show you. I can go through what games I have downloaded. Where is it? It's on top of the printer. Where'd it go? Right behind, there it is. Right behind you, you target. I got it. Uh... Oh my fucking god. Okay. 
Okay. And you knocked over. And there goes the fan. You knocked, well, you knocked over our one fan. You're the one who fucking put the cord in there. Bitch. Uh, so, so yeah, actually, we're installing games in the background, because <laughs> I brought... I brought some games over for Riley to try out, but, you know, it's not as simple as it was back in the day with, like, the 316 PS3. You could just bring a game over to someone's house, pop yeah. it in, and start playing it. Because, of course, we have to install everything now. I miss memory cards, man. I miss those. Remember when, okay, remember when fucking PS2 games had the thing, and even GameCube, they had a slot in them for the memory card? Mm -hmm. That was the greatest. Yeah. Now you have to either buy an external hard drive and plug that in. Which I have. Or you have to buy an internal and, like, tear apart your console to fucking replace the one Which I there. did not want to do. And when I learned that in, uh, there was an update for the software for the PS4 where you could extract, uh, sorry, attach an external hard drive. Yeah. I was like, yes! So I went out and I bought a one terabyter and I used that to install Horizon. See, we got we got ours before that update went live, so we had to replace the internal one. Oh shit! Yeah, they they waited a long time to do it. Mm -hmm. Like way too long. Fucking four, three years after the fact, basically. Okay, but anyway, so okay, I'm just I'm gonna go through games I've downloaded. Okay, okay, so I have Far Cry Primal, mm -hmm. uh, Lego The Hobbit. Uh, don't judge me, but No Man's Sky. Meh. I bought uh, it too, dude. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank. Which I love, fucking love. Raymond Legends, and that's about it for downloading games. Mostly good, other than No Man's Sky. You know that game. Uh, no, you know what? I'm not even gonna defend it anymore because I'm not gonna beat that dead horse. Nah, don't do it. The horse has been beat. Yeah, the too many yeah. times. The horse has been beaten to the point where you're getting it in your IKEA meatballs. Yeah, that's an outdated reference that's for you, but extremely outdated reference. But I don't care. Remember, but I, I, oh my God, I was watching some old uh, off topic. I was watching old College Humor the other day. I remember they did a. Do you remember a? Okay, this is video called Google Earth Guys. Sounds it's like familiar. It's like, it's like these weird claymation. They, it's it's them basically flying around the world recording images for Google Earth, and one of them is where they find. Uh, okay, do you remember the Balloon Boy incident? I where that so. where that kid was stuck in the balloon, and the parents just wanted their own reality TV. Yeah. They referenced that, and I was just like, "Wow, I forgot about that." I mean, the video came out after it was relevant, but it was only like a month later. Yeah, and I was just like, "Holy shit, I remember that happening." But yeah, so that's I'm eating pizza, and then I realized I yeah. had to talk. <laughs> um, I didn't realize I couldn't eat and talk at the same time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> But other than that, nothing really new for games right now. I only really have uh, more or less three active systems at the moment. I have the Wii and PlayStation 2, but they're, they're packed away. They're packed away. Because somewhere. I simply do not have room for them right now, and mm -hmm. I don't want to plug any more stuff in that power bar because I don't want my house to burn down. Yeah. Um, and then, because we both have PS4s, uh, I brought some games over to play with Riley so he can try out. Um, obviously, my pride and joy, the, the, the gem of the PS4, in my opinion, Bloodborne. 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 Best game I played on the PlayStation 4. It looks cool. Best game on the PS4, in my opinion. It's so fucking good. Like, they just did everything. Everything they could have gotten right with this game, they did. Right? Mm hmm I just noticed you took out the cat. Yes, I know. It's a fucking hand puppet. Yep, I, I wanted... What the fuck? I wanted to see your reaction to this. I got Where it. did that come from? I just... I. That's I, not Thomas! No, Thomas is a stuffed cat I own, but it's sort of like a... I, I would say unofficial mascot of whenever yeah. I'm on a podcast. Yeah. This is something I bought for $20 at Chapters, which is like a local bookstore, and I was just like, I have to do it. Because you know me, I love cats, and it just... I, I had to do it, and it's adorable. Riley, put your pussy away. Uh, hey, should we grab it by the pussy? Well, if you do that, then... I can run for president. <laughs> Here, you can play with the cat puppet. It's really soft, and it's really adorable. Hang on, I'm shoving my fist inside the cat. You know what? I'm gonna get a photo of this, just so you can see how fucking ridiculous this thing actually looks. God, go to fucking photo. I'm gonna... Shane, get your beautiful face in this photo. Okay, that's actually like a perfect photo. Okay, make sure you include that in the I podcast. Will. Okay, and everyone, it's on screen. Man, that thing's terrifying. It is terrifying, but my god, is it funny. See? It, it, its mouth is like always permanently hanging open, so it looks like little it's Bob. It's just like... Duh. It's like little Bob. You remember little Bob, right? Yeah. It's like that. It's like... Duh. <laughs> Even though little See, Bob's yeah. adorable. See, I, was, I brought games over to play with Riley. Bloodborne, my personal favorite PS4 game. 
everything they could have gotten right with this game, they did. Right. Um, because it's the same people who made Dark Souls, if you're familiar. You died. Yeah. Uh, it's from Soft. It's basically a Souls game, but it's way better than any of the Souls games. Because, like, they made it faster, they made it more aggressive, the world is beautiful, it's like a gothic Victorian London type thing. Fuck yeah. Get the cat off my leg. <laughs> <laughs> this never gets old. It's just, it's just, it's just really cool, and we're playing it on the channel, and I played it like four times, and I fucking love it. So I wanted you to try that out. You know why I'm kind of excited for you to start off talking. Why I'm kind of excited for you to start Un Uncharted Four because Naughty Dog made both games, right? Mm -hmm. Crash Bandicoot. There's a moment where in Uncharted Four you actually play the original Crash Bandicoot. Like Nate's playing it with his wife. He's just like, okay, I'll play it. Perfect and transition into this. I also brought the Insane trilogy for him to try out. Insane, um, which I want to pick up. Anyone? Yeah, you. Sh it's only fifty bucks. Mm. It's only fifty bucks. It's it, it's a budget title because you know their PS One games remade. But if you've been living under a rock for the last like month, uh, the Insane trilogy. It's a remake of Crash One through Three in one convenient collection. Hi, Thomas. <clears throat> but there's been a lot of discussion about this game lately, mainly due to the fact that. There's this big debate over, like, whether or not they ruined the original games. Because really? they built them from the ground up with new physics, and a lot of people are saying they are in the same vein as the original, but they're not quite the same, and because of that, it makes the game more difficult. Because people who grew up with the games and are accustomed to how the originals control are, like, caught off guard with this. Where it's almost exactly the same, but it's just slightly different enough where it makes things a little harder because well, you got to get used to the new feel for it. Well, obviously it's a remake, so it has to be slightly different. It's not, it can't be like cut and dry. Mm -hmm. Your phone's blowing up there, man. Mr. Popularity over there. I know. I, I have so many people talk to me. Right? I'm just going to put that back there. You know what? People always want to talk to me when I'm playing video games. It's like, yeah. leave me alone. So yeah, I bought the Insane Trilogy like the day after it came out. Mm -hmm. I played through all three games. I platinumed all of them. And I fucking love it. Like, this is, the, this is the definitive way to play the original Crash games, honestly. Like, all those people who are complaining, like, oh, oh the new physics ruined it, I can't play it. Don't fucking listen to them. Don't listen to them. That was a very good impression of what these people actually sound like. Oh, the new physics ruined the game. Oh, Vicarious Visions, you fucked up again. No, can you, can you seriously keep that voice for, like, making fun of gamers? Cause, like, I could that's... probably keep it going for the rest of this episode. It sounds like... A nerdy version of, like, The Godfather. Or who is the guy? Marlon Brando. <laughs> you come into my house. Dude, okay, please do that. Say that. In the nerd voice? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna try not to laugh. Who the fuck do you think you are? You come into my house, sleep in my bed, eat my food, fuck my wife on the day of my daughter's wedding? Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> on the day my daughter gets her new PS4? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, all the people who say like, oh, they ruined the the remake because they changed the physics a little bit, don't listen to them. No. It controls just like it used to, and in some cases, better. Especially I mean, when it comes to Crash 1, which by today's standards, is garbage. Yep. So yeah, I, I say this is the definitive way to play Crash. Now. I mean, at the end of the day, everybody can have their own opinion, but, you know... Even if it's wrong. <laughs> even if it is wrong, like the nerd voice. Just, just kidding. We're very harsh now. Like, I remember I... I okay. I remember I used to be, like, very timid and be like, no, it's okay, you can have your opinion. Now it's just like, you can have your opinion, but You can have your opinion as long as it's right. I feel like I, in the f four or five years since we've started this channel, I've become more of an asshole. But I've also become a lot more cynical, so... Yeah. <laughs> then again, who yeah. hasn't? What else did I bring? Uh, I brought Kingdom Hearts. Because yeah. Riley and I talked about this, and I told him he should try them out. Because... Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit my, about my history with this game. Because these games are old. Yeah, we are. Kingdom, remember, yeah. Kingdom Hearts came out in 2002. The Jesus first one. fucking Christ. So the series is 15 years old at this point. I never personally played any of the Kingdom Hearts games when they first came out back in the day. Literally, I have just gotten into this franchise this year. Really? 2017. You know what? Because, because over the last few years, they've been releasing these HD remixes. Basically, just glorified HD collections. Which I'm not complaining. And it's awesome. but like I bought the first one. I never got around to buying the second one, but I played a little bit of Kingdom Hearts 1 on that collection, and I liked it. 
But then when I got my PS4, I found out that they were just going to release a big compilation bundle. So I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to rebuy it. Because it has both of the HD remixes on it. So there's six games on this. Ooh, off topic, but speaking of HD uh, remakes, I hear that they're going to be remaking Skyrim to play on a Teletubby screen. <laughs> God, I wish that was a thing. It's because it's almost not even satire. At this it would point. only it, it would only add to the seventeen thousand other versions of Skyrim. And yet, I don't actually own the game yet. <laughs> Believe it or not. Let's see: three Xbox three hundred and sixty, PS three, PC, mm. Xbox One, PS four, PC again, Nintendo Switch VR. Like it's on. Did everything. the Switch get canceled or? No, it's still happening. Okay, it's still happening. They just haven't released like they haven't announced a release date for it. Okay, I see. But yeah. Um, getting back to what I was talking about. So yeah, so when I found, I had the first HD remix and I played a little bit of the first game and I liked it. Uh, but when I found out that they were basically bundling both of them together on PS4 with like updated, up, upgraded resolutions and frame rate, I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to buy that. Because that's easier. So I bought this <clears throat> and then I bought 2.8, the other one. And basically at this point, I played through all of the games that were in 1.5 and Kingdom Hearts 2. So I play Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, and Chain of Memories, and I gotta say, I'm a fan of Kingdom Hearts now. Like, especially after playing Kingdom Hearts 2, that's what sold me. Because I played Kingdom Hearts 1, I really liked it, I played Chain of Memories, mm -hmm. didn't like it that much, um, but then I played 2, and 2 is such a good fucking game in its own right. Like, it completely sold me on the entire series. So yeah, I'm a Kingdom Hearts fan now. And it took this one disc... To do it. To change my mind about it. One disc to rule them all. Because I never got into it when it was, you know, relevant. Of like age. When, yeah. I, I never got into it when it was on the PS2, when the first games came out. It took me forever to get into it, but I heard from so many people that this is a great series. And now that this is here, the convenience factor is through the roof. You can just buy this and you're good to go. Basically. So I did that. I played, I played through three of them so far, and I gotta say, I'm a fan. Especially the PS4 version. Because not only does it run at 1080p, it's also in 60 frames. <clears throat> so it's super smooth. And Excuse me, my penis can only get so erect. Yeah. And I told Riley, hey, good games, you should try them out. So I brought this over, but he also ended up buying Kingdom Hearts when we were out today. Because <laughs> we went to our local game shop, and they had 2.5 for the PS3 there for like 17 bucks. Yeah, and 17. I was, yeah. And I was like, if you're going to get one of the HD remixes definitely get 2.5 because it has the better selection of games. Mm -hmm. Because with the first one, it has Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories. And the first game is great. Chain of Memories is dog shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember people bitching about that. But with 2.5, you get Kingdom Hearts 2, which is the best one so far. And you also get Birth by Sleep, which is another really good one. So he picked up 2.5, and hopefully he'll be uh, able to start playing that soon. I'm just going to let you know, though, you're going to be confused. You're going to be completely lost when it comes to narrative. Because you've got... It's one of those series where all the games are interconnected. Dude, I played Metal Gear so. Solid... I played... I'm a, I'm a diehard Metal Gear fan. I played Metal Gear Solid 4 without knowing what the fuck was happening in the storyline. Then you'll I be still, fine. I still played through it. Then you'll be fine. But I'm just saying, it's one of those franchises where even, you know, main game, spin-off, Fucking mm -hmm. mobile cash grab. They're all mobile cash grab. They're all connected to each other. So if you if you skip one and go straight to the next one, I guarantee you you're gonna be lost. But so if you don't care, you can. They're just... all connected to each other in the circle of life. Yeah. But if you don't, ironic because there's a Lion King world in Kingdom Hearts too. Isn't there one for like every Disney movie? Almost. Pretty much. More. It's, all it's, the relevant it's, ones. It's selective. But yeah, if you don't care about that, then you can just jump right in and it'll be fine. So yeah, good thing you got the 2.5. Okay, yeah. That's definitely the better one. Oh, yeah. And then I also brought uh, Nier Automata, which we just started playing on the channel. It's the newest game uh, made by Platinum Games, the people who made Bayonetta and Metal Gear Rising. And because Riley played Metal Gear Rising and he really liked it, I thought, why not bring Nier over so he can try it? Because it's basically the same game. I think it just finished installing, actually. Or one of them did. Oh, yeah. It's, um... Well, the update file did, so you can actually play it now. Oh, God. But... Uh, Remember when you just had to plug in a game and you play it? Yeah. Those were the days. What is this install bullshit? I don't know. So yeah, uh, in terms of what I've been playing recently... With your um, dick? Mostly just Crash. <laughs> like, I've been, I've been obsessed with Crash. I played through all three games. I beat them 100%. 
I got the platinum trophy for all three. Nice. And, yeah. Because, like, the only game out of the original trilogy that I ever did beat 100% was Crash 2. That's the only one I ever did. I never beat Crash 3 100%, even though I should have because it was my favorite, but I just right. never got around to it. And Crash 1, the original version, is, like, impossible. <laughs> yeah, I... It is not easy to play. It's not. The remake is a lot better. But you'll be playing that uh, soon enough. But yeah, that's mostly what I've been playing. Not much else to talk about there. But I did actually want to talk about something with you, Riley, my boy. Um, in terms of games, mm -hmm. let's, not, let, let's, let's wrap up talking about what we've been playing and let's talk about what we're uh, looking forward to play. Well, okay. Um... So my question to you is... What is your what is the game coming out that you're most excited for? Well, as a longtime Mario fan, I'm gonna have to say Super Mario Odyssey. That game looks fucking incredible. Um, like I'm I'm probably gonna get a Switch just to play it, but like it just it looks so fucking well done. And well, I'm I'm all, I'm always down for a new Mario game. So, mm -hmm. but I'm this down. this one especially, like it looks so much different. It is. It's like... Like, I know there, there's not much you can really do with Mario to make it fresh. At but, this point, not really. But man, Odyssey, it just looks like they completely redid everything. It all, It's like, because even with the Wii U, like, we only, they only got, they got a sequel to a game that was already out. Yeah. This one looks like it's like what Galaxy was to the Wii. Something yeah. totally different. Mm -hmm. Which, holy fuck, and it's like, like, Galaxy's 10 years old. And it's like, yeah. And even, even if... You know, Mario is one of those franchises that you can't really do much with to make it fresh. This game looks like they're trying a lot of new things. Like they're making it open world in a city. They're making it. They're making it open world again, uh, like it was in '64. Um, all the all the hat mechanics, like using it as a weapon and possessing people and objects with it, is like what? <laughs> You could fucking possess a T Rex. Jesus Christ! I remember Mario '64. If you lost your hat, you would die quicker. Yeah, but nice. yeah. now you're encouraged to lose your hat because yeah. you'll probably take over someone's brain, which is kind of scary. But hey, I'm down. So yeah, I'm, I'm obviously we don't really know a heck of a lot about the game right now, but it's safe to say that I'm gonna be excited for it when it comes. I'm I'm excited for it, mm -hmm. and I really hope it's good. I uh, have a lot of high it'll hopes. Be, it'll be good, dude. It, it does seem like it's changing a lot, though, that it's making a lot of people nervous, understandably. But then again, people said that about Galaxy, and look, Galaxy is like one of the greatest games of all time. Mm -hmm. Also, try this. These are the, um, we stopped at Max on our way back to Riley's place. We got some snacks. I picked up some mozzarella marinara ruffles. First off, are ruffles even a thing in America? I don't think they are. I think they're Canadian. Yeah, because all dressed chips are only a Canadian thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if Ruffles is purely Canadian, though, but... I think they are. I'm not positive. Not probably. positive on that. I'm just... But yeah, yeah, I got some marinara and mozzarella, which I've had in my house several times. They're really good, and uh, I'm letting Riley try them. Okay, I'm going to try one. You're going to hear me chewing it, so it's going to be an ASMR video for a second. Not bad. I'm good. Like... Not bad. Mm-hmm. I was never really much of a Ruffles fan anyways, but, like, not bad. It's I like, say. when I first had them, it took, like, eating a few and, you know, getting the flavor to really, like, pinpoint it. But after you eat a few, you can really taste a lot. Yeah, because it, it really just tastes more, like, all dressed, if I'm honest. You know what? I'm going to have another one. It's lot. like if you if you eat more and you let the flavor build in your mouth, you can really start tasting that. It pr it does pretty much taste oh, yeah. like mozzarella. I'm tasting a lot of mozzarella there. Wow, that's nice. And if you go even further and you keep eating them, you get the marinara in there too. Or we could just actually get marinara sauce. What would happen if you dipped a marinara chip in marinara? The universe would implode on. So. That's what I thought. Yeah. I actually kind of want to do it. I don't think we have any. Fuck no. So anyway, um. So the game you're most excited to play is Mario Odyssey. Definitely Super Mario Odyssey, but Red Dead Redemption 2 is a very close second. That's not coming out to next year, though. I know, but it's still, like, coming out. Yeah. I I, I knew it was going to get delayed, like, fall of 2017, really. Like, GTA was delayed, like, what, ten times before it came out. Uncharted 4 was delayed, like, even more times, so... Yeah. 
But it, it was a pimp. Fu- both were pimp fucking games when they came out, so I'm excited. Yeah, Uncharted 4 did get delayed, didn't it? A lot. It was supposed to come out in 2015. It got delayed a lot. But it, it was worth it. As someone who loves the Uncharted series and played the shit out of the game, it was worth it. Yeah. The one thing I really like about Uncharted 4, again, I haven't played it personally, but from what I've seen, that grappling hook... It's like, so cool. The swinging mechanics look really fun. They play out very well. and I'm so, They sort of kind of retcon it to make it seem like Nate's been doing it his whole life, which is why he knows how to do it. Then again, they, they, they retcon a lot of stuff in the game, like the fact that Nate has a brother that is yeah. never, never Played mentioned. Played by Troy game. Baker. Yeah, that is never mentioned in any of the other games. But they, they, they explain why, and I'm not going to give away anything because it's spoilers, but they, they explain why he doesn't, and they actually it's understandable. So, obviously, you'll have to play the game to see, but people who've played the game already know, so. So, yeah, um, in terms of, uh, me, the game I'm most excited for, um, I'm just gonna have to fanboy for, like, a little bit here, so bear with me. Okay. Um, but, I'm not sure if you were aware of Sonic Mania. Yeah, I, I know of it. I know of it. <laughs> I'm just going to leave the room while you splooge. Hang on, I got it. Ah, oh, come on. Later. No, do that but later. fucking, um, the day we're recording, the day we're recording this, it's the 1st of August, this is going to come out afterwards, obviously, but two weeks today, Sonic Mania comes out. It comes out on the 15th. Swag. And I fucking pre-ordered it, which I never do for digital games, but I had to for this one. And knowing you, you probably because got it, yeah. Anyone who knows me, you included, Riley, knows that I'm a huge fan of Sonic the Hedgehog. Which I make fun of occasionally. But... Which, I've been a Sonic fan for the better part of almost 15 years now. Like, I first played Sonic Adventure 2 Battle on the GameCube in, like, 2003 at my cousin's house. Oh my god. And fucking... Oh my god! <laughs> and ev- ever since then, I- I've been hooked on this series. Like, I love it. And then from there, I played... The original games on the Mega Collection, and yeah, and then from there we got Unleashed and Colors and Generations. I played all of them and I love them, even the bad games. Like looking at you, Sonic 06, I still played you. You gave it away to someone, didn't it? I I did. Poor bastard. To he was on this show though, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Um, Steve. Steve. What was his name? Steve. Uh, that one Brony. That one Brony. That one Brony. Oh. No fucking. Good fucking lord. Okay, Mike. I let him borrow Sonic 06, and in return, he let me borrow Sonic Generations. But then he moved away before he asked for it back. So he left with my copy of 06, and I got the actually good game. This has been the worst trade deal in the history of trade deals, maybe ever. I know what I'm talking about, folks. I know my trade deals. No. Let me make at least one Trump one reference. Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay. Now shut the fuck up. <laughs> make America great again. So yeah, um... I've, I've been a huge Sonic fan for the better part of 15 years, and he's had his ups, and he's had his downs. <laughs> That's one way of putting it. 06 comes to mind just recently with Sonic Boom. We had the same kind of effect where he's kind of in the dumps again. So a lot of people were weary about what was uh, in his uh, immediate future. But then Sega now Sonic Mania, and everyone fucking exploded over this game. Splooge. Yeah. Like, literal splooge. Like, like, they released a trailer at Comic-Con last year, and everyone went fucking crazy, because not only is Sega making a an actual proper classic Sonic game again, unlike Sonic 4, like, it's an actual classic Genesis-style game with the sprite graphics and everything. Not only are they doing that, but they're not making it. Sega isn't making this game. That's a little fucked up. Yeah. Because usually it'd be Sonic Team yeah. making it. Yeah. But for Mania, they actually hired a team of fan developers. Oh, so you know it's going to be well mm-hmm. done because like for any for anyone who for anyone who, you know, follows uh, the Sonic community, uh, you'll probably know Christian Whitehead. Um you don't, so I'll explain it quickly. Christian Whitehead, he's a fan developer. Mm-hmm. He's been making Sonic fan games for quite a while. Um, he actually sent Sega a proof of concept video of Sonic CD running on his own custom engine. Really? And they were so impressed by the, uh, the look of the demo they showed him that they hired him on to do a re-release of Sonic CD. 
you know, when you actually get fans to start making the games, you know you're in for yeah. something good. So he, so he redid Sonic CD from the ground up with his own engine, and a lot of people say that the version he made is actually better than the original. Like, it controls better, the physics are better, it's just a better game in general. So it's like, sort of unrelated, but like when Topher Grace did the cut of the Star Wars prequels and apparently they're better? Yeah. Something like that? So like, and then he went on to do the same treatment for Sonic 1 and Sonic 2. He did a proof of concept for Sonic 3, but Sega never followed up on that one. Dicks. But Christian Whitehead is adored in the Sonic fan community because everyone knows that he knows what he's doing when it comes to making a proper classic Sonic game. You know if he's on the project, there's no way it can be bad. Because he knows exactly what he's doing, and he knows exactly what he needs to do to make it feel like a Sonic game. It's like, just let him make the game. Yeah, and that's what they're doing. They're letting him and a couple of other fan developers form a team and make this game Sonic Mania. And it's not a fan game, it's not a ROM hack, it's an official... It's like an official main series Sonic game officially endorsed by Sega, but they just hired fan developers to make it. And given their, well, given their recent track record with uh, Sonic games, I think it's probably a good choice that they do this. Yeah. And like, I, like, I am so fucking hyped for this game, like... Yeah, I can see you poking under the armor down there, buddy. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa <laughs> enough of that. Later. But, like, I'm so hyped for this game because it looks exactly what a Sonic game should be, and I have no doubt in my mind that this game's going to be amazing. It'll probably be my favorite game of the year. Yay. It'll probably be my game of the year. And, well, you're going to be a little biased on that front. Well, but... yeah. But seeing as how my favorite game of all time is Sonic 3 and Knuckles, if this game turns out to be better than that game, then it's probably going to be my new favorite game of all time. So it's safe to say that if this does well, Sonic could very well be seeing a renaissance? Yeah, well, actually, there's two games coming out this year. Really? There's this one, Mania, being developed by the fan developers, Christian, Christian Whitehead. Whitehead. Um, you know, classic-style 2D Sonic game. But then Sonic Team is also making a 3D Sonic game to come out at the end of the year. It's called Sonic Forces. And it's being made by the same team that made Colors and Generations, which everyone agrees that those are the best 3D Sonic games. Oh, yeah. Like... Generation specifically is fucking great. But, yeah, it's being made by the same team that made those games. It's basically like Generations. You got Monarch Sonic doing the 3D stuff with the boost. You got two, Classic Sonic doing the 2D stages. But then also, they decided to go one step further and introduce a third playable character, which is a custom character that you can make yourself. Oh my god. So they're basically cashing in on the Sonic OC community and basically like, hey... You know how for years, like, DeviantArt people have been making their, like, Sonic OC characters? You can do that in the game now. Jesus Christ, you know DeviantArt is gonna flip their shit. Oh, they already did. Their load has been blowed everywhere. I know what I'm doing. I'm making Cold Steel the Hedgehog. I don't even fucking care. It's only gonna be a matter of time before Sony makes Hitler. I'm making Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Here, I'll fucking, I'll fucking read this to you. So, Cold Steel is one of the more, uh... Well-known fan OCs, let me just read you this bio. Bio. Cold Steel was born with a special power. He was stronger than all his classmates in the Sonic Fighting Academy. He served in the Sonic military fighting Shadow, and in the final battle against Shadow, they were fighting, and Shadow turned him into the darkness, what and the Cold fuck? Steel turned against Sonic and killed him. He lost a part of his ear in the battle, which is why he doesn't have a part of his ear. Please stop PMing me, asking me why, that's why. <laughs> also, earrings aren't girly. Fuck you, Chaos Kid 663 Everyone knows you're a fucking Pokemon scammer faggot. Oh, shots fired. So, so Cold Steel likes hurting people, being badass, motorcycles, Nine Inch Nails, the band. Of Kill course he does. Killing, death, punk rock, jinko jeans, or sluts, Nine Inch Nails on fingers, earrings, and purple. Cool kind, not gay kind. He, <laughs> he dislikes niceness, happiness, Levi's, Kevin Robinson from school. Fuck you, Kevin. Stop showing everyone my fucking deviant art, you piece of shit. <laughs> Trent, <laughs> Trent Rasner, Short Nails, Chaos Kids 663, Mega Ass Faggot, Sunshine Life, My Dad, and Football. My Dad and Football. And uh, that's him. Oh my god. 
So yeah, I know uh, when Sonic Forces comes out, I'm totally making Cold Steel the Hedgehog. So hold up, he says he likes Nine Inch Nails, but he doesn't like Trent Reznor? No. Is that... He was he was the lead singer of Nine Inch Nails, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I was about to say, like, that's not that doesn't add up. Or is that meant to be ironic? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, I was about to say, like... You can't really take any of this shit seriously. I was about to say, I was just like, wait a minute, wasn't he the lead singer? Of I mean, he dislikes Nine Inch... He dislikes fucking Chaos Kid 666. Fuck you, stop showing everyone my DeviantArt at school. <laughs> you can tell the high schoolers are making this shit. Yeah. So, or like middle school, maybe, but... But yeah. Um, so yeah, there's there's the 2D game uh, Mania being made by the fans, which I'm super pumped for. And then there's the 3D game uh, being made by Sonic Team, which is basically basically Generations 2 without them calling it that. It's basically the same style. Yeah. It looks really cool, though. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you... Your dick? No. I wanted to show you the Mania trailer, like the, the, the announced trailer they released, because when you see it, you'll be like, wow, like, it, come, come here, yeah, come here, bring it, I just got comfy, fuck off, bring it here, so sorry, sorry for the background noise, I'm showing Riley you the You know, trailer. just actually play the video over it. I don't think I can do that. Ah, fuck, copyright. But yeah, uh, here. So when you see the actual gameplay and stuff, you'll be like, wow, that looks super impressive. And just know, Sega isn't making this. The fans are. Wow. Oh, wow. It's like you look at the quality of the sprite animations. Like, and it's like, it looks exactly like the Sonic games on the Genesis. New zones. Holy shit. Bam, boom, thing. And you can play Sonic Tails and Knuckles. And you got some new moves, like like an instant spin dash. You know, I may actually have to play this. It's like 20 bucks on PSN. Nice. And like, just imagine... Sega isn't making this. The fans Which are. Which is what's impressive. I mean... Uh, like, I think I'm down. Like, I was sold when that I saw that fucking trailer. And after you blew your load and had to clean up, you were just like, okay, I'm buying yeah, this? Yeah, As soon as it went on pre-order, I pre-ordered it. So yeah, that comes out on the 15th, and uh, I know what I'm doing that day. <laughs> you know, if, uh, if things with the move aren't too busy, but... Yeah, you're moving. I will... Th that's not important. <laughs> Yeah. What's important is Sonic Mania. Yeah. What's important is Sonic Mania. Not that I'm moving houses. Not that I'm moving houses or anything. But yeah, that's def this is definitely the game I'm looking forward to the most. We're almost fucking done installing Bloodborne. Yeah. Well, that's just the update file. Ah, oh, fuck you. So, um, so yeah, that's the game I'm looking forward to the most, Sonic Mania. Everything I've seen of this game looks fucking perfect. And if it does somehow, some way end up being bad, I will actually kill myself. <laughs> okay, I need to clarify now that we're not condoning suicide. Don't actually kill yourself. I Jane. will actually take my own life. He, he's talking about lives in the games, kids. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm most Swoosh. excited for. I am fucking pumped for that shit. And you can definitely see why. Fuck yeah. It's, it's, it's just beautiful and perfect. Ah. Oh. It's gonna be sick. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's like twenty bucks, so if you want to buy it, you can. Actually, I think it's twenty five on PSN, but Bitch. it's no tax because PSN no because tax. because PSN's cool that way. And you should know that we live in the province of Ontario, and taxes are high here. Yeah, very high. Like, fuck a guy high. Yeah, don't act. Yeah, okay, D don't actually fuck a guy unless you want to. Man. We don't. We don't judge. We into we we don't. You know, do it. Do what you want to do, man. We don't. We don't judge at BGN. We we only we will only judge you if you know. I don't know. If maybe. you make America great again. Yes, and we will only also only judge you if you think the controls for Goldeneye Double O Seven are still good. Seriously, they are fucking awful. They're un they're trash. Un fucking playable mm -hmm. now, man. Like I tried playing yep. it in my brother's apartment, and it's it like, is unplayable. I actually have a story. I have a, uh, a, a double O, uh, golden eye story. You have a gold story. Um, I have a gold story. So, um, I never played Goldeneye as a kid. I got into shooters 
in the seventh generation. So you know, around this 360 PS3 when Halo and Call of Duty were really big, that's when I got into FPSs. I never really played any before that, so I never played GoldenEye as a kid. So one day, uh, a friend of mine from university who lives uh, in Res on campus, and he invites me over to his dorm. He's like, hey, you want to play GoldenEye? And I'm like, fuck, okay, I've never played it, but sure, let's try it. And holy God, man. It is. <laughs> How did I play that as a kid, man? Like, How could like... anyone play that? It, I remember, like, I had that down to a science. I had the strafing down, but it's just un, unplayable now, man. It is awful. Like, obviously, I'm playing the game, like, 20 years after its prime, but even then. Holy crap. How can... Who thought that making an FPS game on a system where the controller did not have two analog sticks was a good idea? They didn't know at the time. And everyone's like, oh, GoldenEye is one of the best games ever made, and I'm like... Okay, then again, as someone who played the game a lot when, when, when you know, I was a kid and that's all I had, like, it was good back then. It was really good yeah. back then, but now it's just really dated. It's kind of like the Final Fantasy VII argument. Because it's I, like... Sure. Because it's like, you know, the, those games were, like, amazing in their time. But, you know, 20 years after the fact, you play them nowadays and you're like, wow, this is not aged good at all. Yeah, I mean, like... Even Mario 64 I was playing recently, and, okay, some issues of the control are dated. Like, Mario turns on such a wide axis. Yeah. Moving is weird. I get it. It was the first... The like, controls yeah. in that game are wonky by today's standards. They're still playable. Yeah. And, you know, they were More really good playable in Goldeneye. Yeah. But it, it hasn't stood the test of time as well as it should have. I'm asking you to fill me up. Please. What, what do you, you want me to fill you up with? A hot jizz, of course. Okay. Brisk iced tea coming up. Hashtag <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. Hashtag hot jizz. Can we? Did we just start a new marketing campaign for Brisk? Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's wise, Riley. Are you seriously giving him that voice? Uh, I mean, it kind of fits his personality, don't you think? You're stro Okay. You know what? I'm gonna give you a little. <laughs> he's he's literally playing with a cat puppet. We're well, you, 20... fucking, you fucking have the thing. Why wouldn't I? Okay, we're 22 years old. I'm, I'm 21. He's 22. We're 22 years old, and we're literally playing with cat puppets. Hey, you're the one who had it, not me. Fuck you. Okay, well, I think the games are installed. Thank fucking God. At least Crash will be fully installed now. So, uh, yeah, unless you have anything else to talk about, we can wrap things up here. Can we talk about how Trump's going to make America great again? He will make America great again. I'm not going to say anything else because I do not want to say that out loud on you. And remember, the way to being a good president is to fire all of your administration staff. Like, what the hell is going on with that? The way to become the best president is to fire someone, replace them, and then fire that person within a week. For being too vulgar after you say you grab women by the pussy. We just lost a lot of Republican viewers. Yeah, but if you grab them by the pussy, they can't do anything. Okay, I think on that point we should just end this. I don't condone that, by the way. What if it's a kitty, though? Well, if you're grabbing that pussy, it's probably because it's in the way of the fucking TV. Or, from my experience with cats, he's on your laptop. Okay, Riley, put your pussy away. Let's end this. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Okay, so, is there anything else you want to talk about? Making America great? Okay, no, no, no. All right, on that note... <laughs> Uh, we're going to wrap things up here, so thank you very much for watching another episode of Bearded Banter. I want to thank Riley for joining me. Good fucking times being back, man. And uh, if you like what you've seen, you can subscribe to BGM for more great gaming content. Let's Plays, podcasts, live streams, unboxings, etc. We do a lot of great gaming shit here. We'd really appreciate the subscription. And also, click the bell. Just smash that like button. We're going to be those YouTubers. Just that's smash. Like, that's like the most generic you could possibly be. It's like, hey guys, smash that like button. Yeah, but how many of them do that, though? It's yeah, like, but see, you know, I mean, that's mistreating the like button. You can't smash the like button all the time. You just got to gently but, tap it. But let me smash. You want some fuck? Please tell me you Becky, get that. Becky <laughs> used to think my tail was big. Becky yeah. used to let me smash. Now she's off smashing Ben. Ben is a hoe. No, Ron. Go find Becky. No, Ron.
I do not want some fuck. Your tail is You want small. yellow? No. She does not want yellow. She wants blue. Blue and yellow? No. <laughs> so anyway, let's wrap things up here before we get even more stupid. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching another episode of the Beer Bamps Podcast. We'll see you next time. Keep on gaming, everyone. Peace.